Hello everyone, it's Avery Dawnside and welcome back to another video. I am super excited to finally release the footage of the horses that I've tried. I know a few of you have been paying close attention to my hints that I've been dropping in videos and the rumors are true. I was looking for my own personal horse for the past few weeks and I actually do have the horse currently, although I wanted to wait until I officially chose one before going over the footage of the ones that I tried in the past and getting permission from the owners that I tried tried to release the footage because all of the horses were fantastic. It's just there was one that really stuck out to me and I'm sure you guys will be able to tell in the footage. But without further ado, I'm just going to get into releasing the footage of all of the horses that I tried. So the first horse that I tried I found on Facebook and his name was Artesian Dream, also known as Francis. So I'll let you guys take a second to read his ad before we get into the actual clips. Francis was being sold out of Seaside Acres, which is a small and quaint farm. I've been here a few times before. They're known for selling and buying horses regularly, so I've been here to try a few horses before in the past, but haven't actually bought from the farm. All of the locations that I tried horses at, I was super fortunate that they already had the horses tacked up. This is a plus, but also a minus because I can't really see their ground skills much. But when I hopped on Artesian Dream, Francis, he was super quiet and subtle. He is a gelding, so he was absolutely sweet, like your stereotypical gelding. But he was just really easy and laid back. As time went on, I did notice he seemed to get a little distracted here and there by bugs that were flying around. It could have been the fact that we weren't working with a ton of space in the arena, but I did want to be very picky and notice the small details, such as him stopping at butterflies and so on, which is habits that can be broken, but I'm sort of looking into buying a horse that is already started and completely set and just need a little bit of guidance. So the whole butterfly stopping thing was cute, but it did get a little old quickly. We moved forward into the trot with no problem. He did have a subtle and sweet trot, just like his walk. Not super bouncy, but not underly bouncy, so it was really nice to have an adjustment to that. The only issue was when we went to move into circles, I'm guessing he hasn't been acclimated to this arena very well or just hasn't done a lot of trot circles because he did break as we started to go into it. So that was a downside, but once we got into it, his bending was super nice and he was in the perfect banana shape. And you could tell he was listening because his ears were super forward, so it was good that he was attentive to what was going on. Once I felt ready, I moved Francis forward into the canter, and honestly, the canter caught me by surprise. For a horse with such long legs, he had such a short stride, which took a little adjusting to on my part, and he broke a few times just because the leg pressure I was playing around with. I did realize that he is more of a verbal command horse rather than a leg pressure command horse, so that was also something to adjust to, but overall, he has such a nice and flowy canter, although it is short strided. Alrighty, so I just finished up trying Francis in this arena. As much as I wish I could try and jump him, Seaside Acres does not have any of their springtime jumping arenas ready, so today this is just going to be a flat work trial. Overall, I really liked him on the flat. I think he has some confidence issues and gets a little distracted, but for the most part, he was really attentive and such a sweet boy overall. So I will definitely be adding him to my list, and if there's a potential to jump him in the future, I would love to try that out. As I was saying, I really liked Francis overall. The only downside was he did seem to be a little on the less confident side, and that's something I'm specifically looking for in a horse. So it could be something that we work on, but I'm just not really sure. I felt 50-50 on Francis because I wasn't able to jump him. So I'm going to get in contact with Seaside Acres and see if there's a possibility to jump him because I think that would really be a telltale sign of if I was interested or not. But anyways, let's head over to the next horse that I tried, Artillo. Artillo was 
was another ad that I caught off of a Facebook group. The thing that really caught my eye with his ad was his name, which is Talk of the Town, as well as his free jumping photo in the ad. You can see in that that he was jumping really high heights, and for his age, I was quite surprised, so of course I wanted to go and check him out. Artillo was located all the way on the other side of Jorvik, so getting to him was quite a drive, but it was very worth it because I absolutely love this side of Jorvik. I think it has such amazing views, and it's just a really completely separate vibe than where I live at in Jorvik, so it was really refreshing to come and visit. Artillo was also tacked up once I got there, and immediately when I hopped on him, it was not at all the energy that I was expecting. Artillo seemed super calm, almost a little suspiciously calm, and just really laid back. For a five-year-old, I honestly was expecting a lot more energy, although he did seem like a calmer horse in the ad, but this just seemed a little bit off to me. He seemed like he might be an older horse and was just mislabeled in his ad. Nevertheless though, Artillo could very well be just a regular five-year-old horse but a lot more calm and laid back. I have met a few horses like that but he just seemed really kind of head in the clouds. Um, he was a bit out of shape from what I could tell but again that's something that we could work on. He was super sweet and picked up commands with a lot of leg so I definitely felt like he would push me on my leg strength and really help me with that. His trot was super laid back and easy. You could tell that he had been in multiple different disciplines because his trot kind of adapted to my stride and the way that I was riding him, which was super nice. Pushing him forward into the canter really emphasized on the pushing part. It took a lot of leg to get him going forward and I was a bit surprised because although he was moving forward I did have to circle just to get him collected. He seemed a little off balance on his hind quarter end so I wanted to make sure we were set up in a nice canter before going around the arena. Another thing that I noticed about Artillo was he seemed to really want to gravitate and stick towards the wall which is a problem that a lot of horses have. especially especially as they get older, which is another reason why I think Artillo might be a bit older than just five years old. Um, and we did break a few times in the canter, but overall he had a really nice, slow and balanced canter and would make for a wonderful hunter horse. Overall though, as time went on, I just really enjoyed my time on Artillo. I haven't ridden a horse like this in a super long time and it was really nice to have an adjustment. Um, we came back down and his downward transitions were amazing. He was a really good boy overall. Hey everyone, it's Avery. So it's been a few days since I tried Artillo and as you guys can tell, I'm at home. So I wanted to explain a little bit about how the rest of Artillo's trial went because things got a bit strange. After working on the flat with Artillo, I went to his owners and told them that I was interested in trying him in jumping and they actually said that he had never really been ridden at the height that he was listed in his ad for riding but he had only done the minimum of 2.6 which is quite high and would be great but specifically for me I was interested in him for his jumping height because I am planning on using my personal horse for competitive and just growing and I've been jumping higher than 2.6 since I was a teen so sadly Artillo was checked off my list for that reason although I am keeping him in my back pocket just because I think he could be a really great potential lesson program horse so that is the end of Artillo's story. Not gonna lie though after those first two trials I did kind of take a step back on the whole trying horses thing just because it's been really difficult to find ads that are true to what they say and I was kind of waiting for more something to really pop out at me. Um, I wasn't in a super rush to find a horse that worked for me until I got this text from Marley which completely changed the game.
Now, I've been riding at Marley since I was just a kid. I showed a lot at his barn and we're really close friends, especially since he's close to Thomas Moreland, which you guys know, I grew up in Moreland and we've just been really close overall. So for Marley to reach out to me with a specified horse that he think would work for me really shows that this horse might be a potential prospect for me because he knows me super well, just overall as a person and a rider. So I couldn't miss up the opportunity to go and try the horse that he sent me. And it was a bay. So he just knew that I would want to try it because bays hold a very special place in my heart. It was a bit surreal to be back at Marley's place overall just because it is a huge part of my childhood and it really just came full circle being back here to try another personal horse opportunity but I was really excited for the day and it made a huge difference that the person who reached out to me was someone who is very trustworthy and I just knew that overall even if the horse wasn't something that matched with me it was going to be a trustworthy process. The first thing that I noticed about Woody when hopping onto him was he was just so cute. Like I said, bays have a really special place in my heart and it didn't take super long to warm Woody up. He was in really top tier shape and he was super young and ready to get moving, which was really great for me to see how enthusiastic he was, even to be ridden by a stranger, but to be ridden at all. That's something that I was really looking for in a horse was confidence and the willingness and wanting to move forward. Another thing that I noticed about Woody, which really put a check on my list was he was super enthusiastic even though there were other horses in the arena. I noticed a lot of horses tend to get nervous and or overall distracted and wanting to socialize with the horses when they are in the arena but Woody just handled it like a champ. There were other horses and he wanted to be social and kind but he was ready to get to work when I asked him to so it was really refreshing to have a horse that was kind of both ways but ready to get back into work when noted. Woody was also not at all camera shy. You can tell in this clip he was following around the drone that I had been using to catch clips and it was just really cute. Woody was one of those horses that you ride where you feel like you've ridden them a hundred times before just by how comfortable you are in their seat right away. So that was a very good thing to note. <laughs> did get to try Woody in jumping, which I was super excited about because he was the first horse I was actually tried to able to jump. And wow, did he impress me. We went into the trot and then eventually cantered to more jumps and slowly built up, but it was really nice that he had a lot of energy with his push when jumping from the ground. A lot of horses, I think, lose that surge of energy, but Woody just really, it was kind of like a rocket. Like it really came out of his back legs even if you were going in at a slow pace, but something that was really awesome too was he was able to go in at faster speeds and control his lengthening and the strides that he took while also going in slow. So that shows that he could be a variety of different disciplines, hunters, jumpers, and just so much more. <laughs> Marley was 100% right in our compatibility. Woody is such an incredible horse and I wasn't expecting much just because of the past two trials that I've done, but Woody really surpassed my expectations and I think I might go through with it. I don't know, I'm gonna do a couple more trial runs and see how I feel because I don't wanna make an impulse decision, but Woody is definitely the top of my list right now. So I'm not gonna reveal which horse I specifically bought and remember that even though I might have had a good trial ride on one horse and not on the other, doesn't mean that that's necessarily the horse that I bought. Go ahead and leave an educated guess on which horse you think I bought in the comments and next week will be the actual reveal of which horse is my new personal horse. I am so excited and super grateful that I have the opportunity to take on my own personal horse and really just grow together. I think that's something super unique and I couldn't be more grateful for it. So 
As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to tune in next week for the video on which horse is actually mine and how our first week went together. I love you all so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!